Got the, got a bitch in the city, so don't fuck around. Know them hoes is out to get me, they don't hold me down. Know me now, act like you don't know me now. Let my bitch off the purse, she get a hundred rounds. Hundred rounds, hold me down. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing the Kim K curls. Y'all already know how I feel about the Kim K's. Y'all know how I feel about the Kim K's, but I felt like this tutorial was necessary. I do change my method and techniques from time to time, so I will be doing updated versions of this because these are my favorite type of curls, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah, believe it or not. So if you want to see how I got this look, then keep watching. So Riku here sent me this 22 inch black and red highlight wig and y'all I was blown away. I was a little bit nervous because I didn't know how it was going to look but what? Look at that blend. So I went ahead and bleached those knots off camera just to make the process a little bit faster and I also realized that they sent a full 13 by 4 parting space wig. Y'all know we not really getting a lot of those nowadays so I was really happy. They also sent me a couple of goodies, a stocking cap, combs, edge brush, lashes, bands, clips, everything y'all could think of, y'all, it was in that package. So shout out to them for sending me this. So, you know, I don't know about y'all, but I stopped using BioSilk oil for a very long time up until this point. I recently started using it again, and when I tell y'all that's one of the best decisions I've ever made, besides the BioSilk shampoo, the BioSilk oil is like the OG of oils, because it doesn't weigh your hair down, but it's going to give it a nice smell and a nice shine. So, you know, I really appreciated that. So before i go in and curl anything once i get here with any type of texture i like to take my blow dryer or my blow drying brush and just kind of press it out a little bit and i know i'm not trying to get it bone straight obviously it's not a fly iron but i do want to get that texture bouncy and i need the coarseness to be there and although you can go ahead and curl your hair even if it is body wave you don't necessarily have to fly iron it i know i wanted a sleek look but i still wanted some type of volume which is why i went ahead and use my blow dry brush so i just want to state this right now before somebody say something my background was very very messy and i did not realize i'm in the middle of like redoing my beauty room and like cleaning it and everything so if it look a little crazy y'all ignore it we're not worried about that we we're worried about the hair so i went ahead and cut some layers in the front only in the front because i didn't really feel like it was necessary to put any layers in the back to be honest it's just I didn't want it to look super choppy and I know how I can get when I just go in and just do all types of layers and of course it always comes out looking bomb but that's not the point. Anyways, so on to this curling technique. So I always curl away from the face and when I curl, I wrap the hair around once. Actually, I wrap the hair around twice and then I kind of undo the curl and just repeat and once I get to the end, I just pull it out straight. Hopefully I'm explaining this right y'all. I have a problem with explaining things sometimes but I can show y'all better than I can tell y'all so we're gonna try this one more time and I'm gonna try to explain it and then let y'all watch the rest so you're gonna take a small section you're gonna curl away from your face you're gonna wrap it around once if you want a looser curl you're gonna wrap it around twice if you want a tighter curl once you wrap it, you're going to let it sit. Once you feel like it's sat long enough, you're going to undo the curl in that hand motion that I just did and repeat all the way until you get to the bottom. Now, before you get actually all the way to the bottom, you need that last piece, the end piece, to be straight. So once I get it like this, I literally just pull it out straight like that. Once again, I'm not the best with explaining things, but y'all just going to see what I, how I did this. <laughs> This is 
So for the girls who don't know, Sebastian Shaper Plus is one of my favorite products to use when it comes to hairsprays, but hairsprays that's really gonna hold your hair without making it sticky. So it's not a got to be, it's not an even, it literally does exactly what it's supposed to do. So I usually use that around my hairline, you know, to press out my hairline or to spray it on my curls just to give them a nice hold, but to not make it hard and crunchy at the same time. So if you don't got you a Sebastian Shaper Plus, Go get you one right now. They have a regular Sebastian Shaper hairspray. I don't really care for it, so I always get the plus. Other than that, one of my best hair products that I own to this day, I will never retire Sebastian Shaper Plus, so make sure y'all go get y'all one. Thank you.
all right y'all so this is the final look and how are we feeling about this look y'all i feel like it was pretty thorough i feel like the tutorial was pretty thorough and straight to the point i don't feel like it was too hard but make sure y'all let me know if y'all felt like it was too hard down below in the comments shell if y'all want to see more videos like this then make sure y'all let me know if y'all want to know certain tools or whatever the case may be y'all know to comment and i'm gonna make sure i put the grills on y'all already know how this go other than natural Make sure y'all click that like button if you like this. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts. And subscribe if you want to see more videos from moi. And I'll see you in my next video. Around. No, them hoses have to give me, they don't hold me they down. Hold me know down. me now. Know me. I like you don't know me now.